guys welcome back to the vlog i look like a disaster right now i just walked into my house i have all of the girls here with me we are about to do a little christmas craft um really quickly before they leave to go see their dad and grandma for the day because they have some family coming to town so they're going to spend some time with them we're just gonna get ourselves like a little bit ready and then do this little craft so i'm gonna bring you guys along because i've done it on my channel before back when anna was like a newborn it's the little salt dough ornament so this morning has already been very interesting Whoa. layla taught analia how to flip me off on the drive here so that was so funny they don't really know what it means but they just think it's hilarious we were talking about who we should make all the ornaments for I started crying and got jealous because and I said, oh, my daddy. She's like, that's not fair. I realized too. And then, and then, look. Anyways, interesting start to the morning. Anna, I need you for hair. I need to like wash my face and like fix myself. <laughs> but I'm just gonna do the kids' hair really quick. What? Oh my lord, girl. Mm -hmm. We will be back. measuring cups so hopefully this works you can help come here i'm gonna make fun put water left sorry i'm using my old camera and the focus is like a little weird i got like one of each of their hand prints i thought that i forgot that they have big hands now um i thought that it would have more room to do like a bunch so that we could make like different sets of hand prints for like different people to give as little gifts from the girls we just have one set for right now and then we'll try it again another time i'll link the little recipe for this and now the girls are going to be gone for like the day it is a sunday today so they're going to just be gone at grandma's house and get to see their dad and everything i'm just going to be hanging out here at my house getting some stuff done and just and then i think my friend's going to come over we're going to make some food and hang out i wanted to come on here and chat i feel like i've said this a million times we've now been split up for eight months and it's been a very weird transition with my channel because as much as I've always been the one to film and edit and everything, obviously it was a family channel kind of. And it's been a weird transition, especially because I didn't talk about why we split up. But for a long time I debated on whether I ever would talk about it or not. It just has felt very weird going about my life and like channel and like nobody really knowing why we split up. I think it's taken me a really long time to process and heal. I didn't want to and go and post about it right away because I feel like that just would have been like an emotional response and I didn't want to do it and then regret it. Um, and also I was like kind of afraid of like stirring things up, and damaging our relationship or honestly even getting sued. Which like I hate that that has to be a concern, but it is. Yeah, I didn't really want to talk about it or go into detail too much, but I feel more like ready to like be open about things. We have a very good relationship and I feel like I am so content and happy with like raising kids as co-parents and friends and like I feel like we have a very good relationship and I'm very happy about it. I like basically just am like have forgiven and like no hard feelings and I think the same for him just when it comes to anything that went wrong in our relationship. That doesn't mean like I think that we could like work out again, but I think it's just like a good start to be able to co-parent and like be good friends and not let anything from our relationship affect that. But because there was all of these assumptions and things out there that did frustrate me, I guess I just wanted to talk a little bit about what went wrong in our relationship. And also I think I want to start a Patreon, which I've talked about on my Instagram. 
but I want to start a Patreon. I had a podcast in the past and I want to do like a little mini podcast thing on Patreon that's just like a solo podcast and I'll just do weekly episodes where I can kind of talk about more like deeper things about my life that I like don't want to talk about on like my public like family channel so i think i'm going to start that up starting at the beginning of like next year if you guys would be interested in that i'll give you more information when it comes together yeah when it comes to our relationship and what went wrong we would have disagreements a lot and had a hard time like handling it and we really put a lot of work and effort into like communication and like taking care of our relationship and making sure we put time into having date nights and like our own time but we also had a lot on our plates so i feel like our family like the kids and like work and stuff a lot of the times came before our relationship which like then you know like kind of left our relationship last sadly and we both also had a lot of childhood trauma and issues that definitely affected our like relationship and like everyday lives i guess like more than we really thought to just state the plain facts of it and it is more complicated than this i was being cheated on and again as weird as it sounds like i'm not like no hard feelings about it um and i don't hate any parties for it, it i don't know why i'm so just like we're just young and it's wrong and it did damage our relationship and it was a handful of times for like the last few years of our relationship um i thought that it was happening and i would ask about it and basically it was more upsetting that i was lied to than what actually happened to be fair also at the end of our relationship when i was feeling very confused and unhappy and like just done with things i also did talk to somebody else for a few weeks right before things ended and then I came clean about it before anything came of it. But then I was like, what am I doing? Like, what is going on? And I came clean about it and it was just like this big blow up and like, it, that wasn't even really what caused us to break up. Like I already knew that we needed to split up because of just the other things in our relationship that weren't working and the like ways that we would disagree on things. And then also another big, complication in our relationship was just like the work family dynamic stuff like we made it work for so long and obviously like i'm so proud of everything that we've done and like the way that we like moved to hawaii together and like our girls are so like happy and healthy and beautiful and like and i'm and they're just like so loved and i'm so proud of like the family that we have even though it's not like even though we're not together now um, but it was really hard on us like trying to learn how to like run a business and like do all of this together and at the end of the day it was more like my this is more my dream and my thing than it was his but that kind of made things hard because like we would have liked you know for it to like switch around and like him be able to be the one to work and support us and we'd be able to be a stay-at-home mom and like stuff like that it made things a little bit hard too because i know he wanted to go do his own things but it just like never really worked out because there was no time and had three kids and we're trying to do it and they were all not in school until like Layla just started school and also like doing running youtube and all my socials is like a full-time job and I mean, it's an awesome job and I'm so grateful to have it and I love doing it. There just wasn't like the time for him to be able to go, to go like have his own dreams and career and passion. I just couldn't figure that out. So that's why I'm very happy with like where we are now, even though it has been a really hard transition that we get to have a good relationship and we get to co-parent and be friends and do our own thing. And it's a good place to be right now, I think. I think there was like in a lot of ways a lot of mistreatment i'm sure like on both parts there was times that i felt like very emotionally mistreated and um and i don't like to like make excuses for things that were like said or done i just can like see through why people i don't know say certain things and do certain things and that it usually comes out of a place of fear or just emotion is what it is i feel like that's like the most that i could really say honestly but I just, I guess, like, have seen a lot of, like, assumptions. And, like, around here, everybody thought that I was cheating on him. Which made sense because, like, of how, like, that happened right at the end of things. I'm just excited for him and his new, like, career. 
path and just like us learning to co-parent and everything I feel like it's all really good and the kids are just like really happy and i think that moving in with my grandma was a very good move and i wasn't even really thinking this way but like for the, them to go living with both of us as like both stay-at-home parents that were working from home full time to like him moving away and only seeing them like once on the weekends and like sometimes he couldn't because he was working would be a really hard transition and I think it's so much better that we're like at my grandma's house where it's like it's always lively there because my sisters are just like always chaotic and funny and like dinners are always just like crazy because Venice is just like being funny and um so I feel like it almost like distracts them from like they don't like realize like oh like dad is like not here like they do i don't know how to say this in a not really sad way but it's like easier than us just like being here and him like not being here hopefully the whole schedule with co-parenting will change because the goal is like he'll be able to come down more and like with his new job hopefully be able to like make more for his own schedule which would be nice yeah i'm just like proud of both of us for being able to get to this point and i'm really happy with everything and it did just take a long time to get past it all you know process it and get past it all for the first few months after we broke up i just felt like a deer in headlights like i was just like what is going on like what just happened the last like four and a half years and also <laughs> this is very random and like not really relevant but a lot of people think that i like trapped him by getting pregnant but I just think that is like a very funny statement to make. That is like not at all the case. I don't know. I feel like I don't really need to say that. But um, no, we both had talked about having Anna and then Millie was not planned. But by either of us, I didn't secretly plan Millie. I think Millie was more planned by Logan. I hope that that gives you guys some more clarity. I know that's like really not a lot of information. And it's probably very confusing and really shocking for a lot of people to hear. I'll be back after I bake these ornaments. Vlog update. The kids salt dough ornaments are in the oven right now, so hopefully they come out okay. Just about to eat dinner. Okay vlog, we're back. The handprints are done. They're pretty big, so I'm not sure what we're gonna end up doing with them. But the girls were about to paint them. Layla just went to school this morning. My little sister Ellie is out of town. Usually Ellie just walks to the bus stop with her, but we all drove over to the bus stop even though it's like across the street and we just like to wait in the car. And I don't know why. I'm still so sad sending Layla to kindergarten every day. I'm making myself a little drink with this collagen peptides. Collagen peptides hyaluronic acid powder stuff from Alani. I got these cute new cups when I was Christmas shopping the other day. I love these like glass jar cups with the like glass straws i'm obsessed with them and i saw some cute ones at home goods and i got one for myself and then i got some for my sisters for christmas are you guys ready yeah so pretty good job the kids are eating lunch now. I'm about to decide if I'm having a lazy day all day or if I'm gonna get myself together because it is getting kind of sunny out, but I just fed them lunch. I promised them they could get Sour Patch Kids today, so I just gave it to them with their lunch. I decided to get myself sort of together. I showered. I already have most of my Christmas stuff ordered. I'm sure I'm gonna have to do some last minute things. I'm actually doing some like last minute shopping today. I just got a bunch of cute wrapping papers. I am not a pink girl. My kids all love pink. I got all this cute pink wrapping paper from Home Goods. Wrapped in presents. And then I saw this one too, which was like not at all. Does not go with them at all, but I just thought it was cute because it's like retro little like stickers. Anyway, um, and then I found a bunch of other cute bags at Home Goods for like the kids' presents. They have little gingerbread house ones. And also they have some really cute tissue paper. I don't know, I thought that was fun. And the other one's gum drops. I've always wanted to have like a very organized Christmas like wrapping setup where like every single thing I wrap is like all the same color scheme and like all goes together. But it never ends up happening. So I'll probably do like a haul of their presents like later on. Like the stuff that I got them, the lists that they made were really like, like Layla had a list that said like tickets to Hawaii. Millie is not happy here, so I'm about to take her back to my grandma's house. I think a lot of you guys are still really confused on our living situation, so I'll do a whole nother video explaining that because 
some of you guys are like i thought you guys moved out of this house and like we did but we still come here all the time i'm glad i finally got to talk about everything i mean i tried to film a video talking about everything literally probably four times i probably filmed it four times and even edited it and just like couldn't do it and it just never felt right so doing it this way i feel like anything that i feel like i left out i can like come back on here since it just feels like more casual like it's a vlog so i feel like it's a lot of things to say at once and like i just don't want to overshare or undershare and i don't know it just was a lot i guess i just want to emphasize again that i i don't have any anger towards anyone i don't want anyone to be painted as like the bad guy and i'm very happy with where things are right now um i feel like there's like no point anymore in thinking about the past or thinking about the future and the only thing that we should really be focusing on right now is like the present situation that we have on our hands and making it the best it can be for the kids i guess i just also want this to be kind of like for other girls in a situation where they just like are in a relationship and feel like they're being mistreated especially other moms because i feel like a lot of the times when you have kids with somebody it feels like impossible to leave and a lot of times it's not just that you know like i'm like the other person's mistreating you maybe it's just that the relationship itself isn't working to so just not like blame it on one person or the other yeah i feel like i obviously like the ideal would be to be a family unit and you know stay together and be able to raise kids together and obviously that is all that we wanted and fought for for so long i believe that we can still have that like to an extent like but with co-parenting sorry i let it go it's just running in the background Anyways, I guess I also wanted this to be for like other girls because I feel like I've gotten a lot of messages from other single moms saying that like, I don't know, just that they were in like what they thought were probably similar situations and like seeing that I was able to like leave and do it on my own and like be happier that way, still be able to survive on my own and like have the courage to leave, I guess like inspired them to like be able to leave relationships that were abusive or toxic or like whatever. So I guess that's another reason I just wanted to like talk about it. It's like if you're in a relationship where you feel like you're being mistreated, don't be afraid to like talk to people about it because I think like not talking about it to people that I knew cared about me was like almost intentional because I knew that if I like told them certain things then they would be like this isn't right. And I didn't want to accept that. Like, I wasn't ready to let go. Yeah, because now we've gotten to, like, look back and reflect on our relationship without the pressure of, like, fixing it. If that makes sense. So it's like we had to look back and reflect on ourselves without the pressure of, like, fixing it for the other person. Like, now we just get to fix things and work on things within ourselves for ourselves and for our kids. And that feels somehow easier right now. Okay, we're not going to get into, like, a whole growth spiritual journey rant right now we can talk more about it in the future because i would love to oh we're at the park it is so bright right now probably just gonna go walk barefoot on the beach for a little bit yeah i'm gonna take my socks off yeah. me too let's take off our socks and go run on the beach Our neighborhood right now. Uh, you better come. He better. Oh, Millie. He <laughs> Millie, come stop on it. On <laughs> Millie. <laughs> Millie, can you do a heart? Can you blow a kiss? <laughs> she acts so cute, but she's actually like a gremlin. So. <laughs> We thought we missed Santa. We waited outside for so long for him, and then we went and had a bath. Just put Millie down, and now Santa's here. Do you hear it? God, do you hear it? Where's Santa? I don't know if you can see him. Wave to Santa. I can see him. Can you see him waving? I can see him waving. Yeah. Time to go. There he goes. Put Millie to bed, and then we went and saw Santa. But me and Venice have to run back. You saw Santa? Yeah, you missed it. Santa just came around. <laughs> She's so mad. I left Venice's 
gift bags that she bought when we went shopping at Home Goods at my house. I've literally driven back and forth between my grandma's house and my house like 10 times today. So I have to run back to my house, get Venice's bags. I just brought Layla back to the house so she could paint her little handprint and they came out pretty cute. Anyways, I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.